What's up guys, my name is Walter Hinchman. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Swolverine. Today we're gonna talk about crealkaline creatine, okay? So what is it? Crealkaline creatine is a pH corrected form of creatine monohydrate. What that means is that they add a sodium bicarbonate to creatine monohydrate so that it neutralizes the pH so that you have better bioavailability and you absorb it better, okay? Creatine monohydrate has a few different Effects that affect some people, which are especially exasperated in women, such as bloating, water retention, and cramping, because it converts to a toxic byproduct called creatinine. Okay, um, definitely some benefits with creatine and crealkaline. All right, it's going to help you with your ATP generation, which is your body's natural fuel source. Going to help you with more power output, peak power output. Um, and endurance strength to help you with those fast twitch muscle fibers. So when you're getting down there ready to do that snatch, ready to do that squat, you're gonna have better power and performance when you hit that rep, okay? That's why people use creatine. Creatine is backed by hundreds of different studies, okay? And it's well-researched showing that it has a ton of great ergogenic or performance benefits. So when you're getting ready to figure out exactly what supplements you want, what supplements you need, creatine is definitely gonna be it. It may not be creatine monohydrate because, like I said, it does have some of those negative side effects, okay? Really cool study done in the Journal of Pharmacology had creatine versus crealkaline in a head-to-head -head study about its stability testing, okay? What that shows is that creatine actually converts down to a pH of 2 to 3 right when it hits that water into your supplement cup as compared to crealkaline, which has better bioavailability. Why does that matter? Let me tell you, okay? When you're taking creatine monohydrate, you have to load it. What does that mean? You gotta load the creatine monohydrate so that it saturates your muscle tissue so that you get more power output. You have to take at least 10 to 15 grams per day, up to 10 to 15 days before your creatine monohydrate even works. So before you're even getting there and having better performance, better lifts and getting more gains, you've already gone through about 100 grams of creatine before it even starts working. So that's why crealkaline is gonna be a little bit more convenient. Um, so that it actually, it's more bioavailable and it loads into your muscle right away. Okay, that's number one. Number two, there are head-to-head -head studies. You can go to the website, swolverine.com, and check them out against cre with creatine versus crealkaline, okay? It shows that the power output in Olympic weightlifters, you know, so performing um, Olympic weight movements such as snatch, clean and jerk, deadlift, squat, okay? It produces almost a 30% better outcome, okay? in total amount lifted, all right? That means that in your, all of your lifts, you're gonna lift better, you're gonna lift more, okay? Weight loaded with crealkaline creatine as compared to creatine monohydrate, all right? The other great benefit of crealkaline is that it helps with your VO2 max, better oxygen recycling metabolism, okay? And better endurance, which is gonna help you hit whatever you need to do in, the, in your gym for your performance so that you have better outcomes and that you're edging out your competition. That's why you take supplements in the first place. Okay, so no dosing with this guy. Use three grams. This is actually a very high dose compared to any other crealkaline on the market. It's three grams, 100 servings, unflavored, which means you can mix it with whatever you want. You have a thousand different flavors in your shaker cup. Make whatever you, you please and desire, okay? Where can you get this product? www.swolverine.com. You can also check out all of our fitness, nutrition, wellness, health tips there. Also, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can learn well, research, and um, you know, informed consumer, all right? Until next time, guys.